So I thought the strangest attack was when our, our, we had a private discussion forum, a skeptical science private discussion forum for our, for our co-authors that we're participating in. We were discussing basically aspects of the paper and later that got hacked. And so then when it got hacked, then a bunch of contrarians were pouring over the hacked forum discussions trying to find some material to use against us. And they found a discussion that we had about how we were going to communicate the paper's results once they were published. And we kind of already had an idea that the, we were going to get a high consensus result because that's kind of just every paper that has investigated the consensus has found that consensus is really high. And so we were kind of figuring, okay, we'll probably get a similar result. And this is something that the public isn't very aware about. If you ask the public, the American public, what percentage of climate scientists agree humans are causing global warming? The answer is only 55%, and the reality is 97%. And so one of the things we wanted to do was make a difference in this public misperception, we call it the consensus gap. We wanted to decrease the consensus gap so the public answer is closer to the 97% reality. And so we were talking about, okay, how are we gonna communicate our results and, and what's the best way to do this? And then the contrarians hacked our forum and they found this discussion and they said, oh, well, they are, they're obviously biased because they were saying beforehand that consensus, consensus was going to be high before they finished their study. And so they're basically calling us biased just because we were talking about how to best communicate the results. And so I just thought that was a strange, a strange attack.